Hi everyone and welcome to this week's What If. And this week's What If, we are looking at something that's not anime or DBZ related for a change. Uh, we're looking at the question, you know, pop up, Domino's here, she's still shadowed down snugly. We're looking at the age old question that is, what would have happened if James Bond failed any of those missions he was on for any of those movies? Now, we gotta look in the context of two things. One, in the chronological order of the series, how it kind of progresses, at least in the early ones. Or two, just individually, what would the ramifications be in the world? Now, right off the bat, anything that kind of involved nuclear weapons, it's pretty self-explanatory how that goes. Like Dr. No, uh, Thunderball, those ones, it's pretty self-explanatory. But what about the other ones? So I'm going to just go from, you know, order of release, Dr. No, obviously, that's an easy one. They had nuclear weapons, and it could have it would have gone bad. But okay, so what if Bond failed in Russia World Love? Well, in Russia World Love, they were after, I believe... Um, a like a like a microfilm recorder or something like that, some sort of information gathering device. It would have been in the hands of Spectre and the Russians. It and it would have caused a lot of debacles between each side. Spectre would have used it for their own gain. Bad, but not like devastating. It's something that could eventually have been overcome. Uh, Goldfinger, the entire gold supply of uh, Fort Knox would have been irradiated. As Goldfinger said, his supply would have gone up considerably about 10 times at least in terms of value. And Oh, but that being said, <clears throat> all the gold remaining in the world would go up at, in value immensely. So it's a little tip for tat. I mean, I, I assume he factors that into the uh, equation, but, you know, uh, I, I'm not sure if Goldfinger uh, really uh, thought of uh, really... Um, thought that part through so you got thunderball they got the nuclear warheads uh and they would have probably bombed washington washington might have been bombed off the map uh, yeah that would have been bad that would have been very bad and, and yet no matter what they keep putting bond on the kids like no no he, he's a good agent it's just he's had a run of bad run of thin or luck uh then going into the other connery ones we have live and let die not live and let die we have you only live twice uh again i believe it was um Mm. That one, I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly what the whole issue in that was. I believe that one had to do a little bit with space, I think. I know It's not Moonraker level, but uh, it had to do with uh, the capturing of satellites or something, I think. Uh, it might also have been, you know, <clears throat> uh, warheads or something along those lines. I feel like it was a combination of both. Um, but yeah, if he had failed that, then more horrible things in that regard would have happened. Uh, in Live and Let and uh, me and Diamonds Are Forever, the diamonds would have been used. Um, how? What was the main goal in that one again? Can someone remind me what the main goal in Diamonds Are Forever was? It wasn't like in uh, Die Another Day where they made a giant laser. Um, I know they were in space, but I, huh? Yeah, that one escapes me. And then Never Say Never Again was just a rehash of Thunderball. Then you go into the Roger Moore ones. Now, in the Roger Moore one, I can actually remember quite a bit of the plot through most of them uh, in the bad guy's purpose. In Live and Let Die, um, Mr. Big uh, was an agent of a tombstone, was a baby, uh, was basically going to just spread heroin all over the United States and just erupt the economy. Com uh, uh, completely and early just erupt it with, like, with gang violence, drugs on the street, all that. That happens. America go, plummets into like some in a horrible state of turmoil. But that being said, I imagine he profited in some way for it. So that happens. Uh, and then in the or I, I can't remember what order they came in next. I know Octopussy came after Man with the Golden Gun. Was there one? That, which one came before that? Was it for Your Eyes Only that came before that? For that matter, hold on one second. Moonraker. Live, okay, Live and Let Die. Moonraker. Your Eyes Only. Octopussy, um, a man with a golden gun, view to a kill. Which one am I forgetting? Because he's got he's tied with Connery for seven. Which one am I forgetting? Live and let die, Moonraker, uh, your eyes only, man with a golden gun, Octopussy, view to a kill. Why, since I got the internet up, why don't I just look that up? Yeah, James Bond films. I, I know there's another one I'm forgetting. He has um, James Bond. James Bond. 
Uh, let's see here. Okay, list of James Bond movie. Come on, official James Bond. There's the okay, list of Bond movies. All right, here we go. Because I know, I know there's another one that I'm forgetting. Uh, so let's see. Dinosaur Family, I'm going gun. Spy who loved me. Oh, uh, Spy who loved me. That was the one I forgot. All right, so let's uh, see here now. Thunderball, Doctor No. Da, 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 da. You only live twice. <laughs> Magic Secret Service. Um. One second. So yeah, actually, oh, uh, oh, well, I'll be. It was, it was a laser in space for diamonds are forever. Okay, so they Spectre would have had a laser that could destroy weapons on the ground, as they put it. Uh, the man with the golden gun was the next one. Uh, basically, if the bad guy won, Bond would be dead. Simple as that. Bond would be a mounted stuffed trophy on his wall. Uh, the spy who loved me, uh, if that were the, uh, that teamed up, okay, two missing nuclear seven, that's the one with the underground, underwater city, all right, and then he would have honestly flooded a good portion of the world, and there you go, it would have been, it would have been, oh, it's really, it would have been, basically, he created water world, there you go, the villain and the spy who loved me more or less created water world. Moonraker, he would have pretty much re wiped out the earth with a, airborne pathogen and then repopulated it with the hand-picked people uh yeah in one sense horrible but in another sense hey no more horrible bully. you could actually almost see where that guy was coming from in a warped sense of the way uh for your eyes only oh god that was the one that had another uh one where it was like a micro like a information device in that one how do you failed and by the way basically even if he had made it past the nuclear weapons and the world wasn't gone, Bond's story chronologically would have ended with Man with a Golden Gun, because if he failed that, he would, again, be dead. Um, but yeah, for your eyes only, um, yeah, something to do with an information device, and the Russians would have gotten it. Uh, Octopussy, that one, what was that one about? Uh, Colt Lear, Octopussy, uh, with a Russian, uh, accidentally detonate a nuclear device on the U.S. Air Base... Okay, yeah, he's at, okay, applying to, so they would have blown up a nuclear war, uh, uh, air base in West Germany, hoping they will disarm, uh, will disarm, and the Soviets can take over Europe in record, in record time. So assuming that worked, the Soviets would have, Russia would have claimed all of Europe, so all of Europe would have just been now Russia. So Russia would have been Europe and Russia. Um, so that would have happened, plus, Big nuclear explosion on a German airbase, or an American German airbase. View to kill. What was uncovered? Microchips, uh, malfunction, manufacturing earthquakes that would slow, would drown silicon. So, wow, I I forgot some of the later ones, and I'm gonna definitely gonna have to look up the uh, Living Daylight, uh, the Timothy Dalton ones. High tech firm KGB industry uncovers a plot to corner the market on microchips by manufacturing an earthquake that would drown Silicon Valley. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. <laughs> uh, I'm, I mean, I remember uh, Christopher Walken, and, uh, Mr. Bond. Uh, so good to see you. Uh, look, I have Mayday here. <laughs> you want to bang her? You're going to bang her because you bond. So go ahead. Ooh. Um, the point being, he would have completely flooded Silicon Valley, killing thousands of people uh and you know cornering a mar my, the microchip uh so thing do dad um living daylights bond teams up with a female cellist i remember that uh, to in investigate the fa a, the fake defector uh, from whom she was allegedly working you know george Co uh, Kos uh, koskov koskov which i believe was played by um joe bond ba uh, joe bond uh, baker or Joe Don Baker, leading them to a weapons for drug smuggling scheme headed by powerful dealer Brad Whitaker. 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 Uh, one second. Was it, was it George Cock? Was it, was it Joe Bond? Uh, yep, Joe Don Baker. That was the villain in that one. And then we had uh, yeah, Agent Johnson, Agent Johnson, uh, for who's the bad guy, and basically your friend Sanchez. Um... Basically, he was a drug lord. He would have just kept doing the things he does. Plus, Felix would actually be dead uh, instead of, you know, maimed and so forth. Then we get into the Brosman Bonds, which that one I can actually remember most of them. Um, in GoldenEye, um, Sean Bean or, or um, 006 
was basically using a giant EMP pulse to bring down, uh, you know, to everything satellites, uh, everything electrical in the area. And his plan was to download, like, a London's, um, you know, finances, be rich from it, and then, you know, put them into the Stone Age. If he had done that, London's economy would have uh, just been gone, which would have tanked probably the worldwide economy. Um, not to mention, so many people would either be dead or, you know, without power in the Stone Age, more or less. Tomorrow Never Dies. Elliot Carver would have gained the exclusive rights to uh, broadcast the channel for the next 120 years. That was his plan. That was, that was all he cared about. Plus, he would have started a war between uh, Ch uh, Ch Chinese and um, America. I'm pretty sure he would have started a war there. He, he was trying to start a war. Um, then World's Not Enough. Uh, the would have blo They would have blown up um, a nuclear submarine. She would have had her oil. Again, according to the oil market, things along those lines. Die another day, super giant laser that would have basically, you know, been God. So everyone would have been at that mer their mercy, uh, more or less. If maybe someone could have gotten a lucky hit with a nuke to bl blow it out of the sky, but um, overall, yeah, they would have been screwed. Casino Royale, the well, chief would have financed terrorism. There you go. One out would have won that 150 million. Pretty sure it was 150 million. Uh, and, yeah, things would have gone on. That plane would have blown up, so forth and so on. Uh, I was actually, truth be told, if Le Chief had succeeded just from the get-go, that plane would have blown up, and he wouldn't even bother to hold the poker tournament to begin with. Quantum Assaults, they would have cornered the water, controlled the water in the area, and throughout most uh, world, one of the world's most precious resources, water. So they would have had that. Um, Skyfall. Oh, yeah, um... Mr. Silver would have killed M, even though M died anyway. He also would have, you know, kept doing what he's doing. You know, the choosing the missions. I like to choose Mr. Bond. Uh, no, you name it, name it. You know the, uh, you know, rigging election all to the highest bidder. Done. No assassinate the this. Fine. <laughs> and Inspector Blofeld would have. They would have had the unlimited information power, basically. So yeah, if Bond failed any of these. The world would be pretty screwed. Honestly, the only times the world wouldn't be, world itself would not have been super screwed. Quantum Solace, they wouldn't have, the world itself would not have been super screwed. A good portion of the area would have been screwed. Um, uh, I don't think tomorrow never tomorrow never dies. World itself might not have been super screwed, but a war is not something no one, anyone wants to deal with. License to kill, no. The world itself would just have kept going like it does with cartels anyway. Living Daylights, again, uh, I can't say it, was, it would have affected the world a huge deal. Silicon Valley would have been a, a loss. Uh, that actually would have affected things in the long term. Um, yeah, Octopussy, Sobe, Staking Europe definitely would have affected uh, the world long term. Eye for Your Eyes Only, that one I don't think actually would have had long term implications. Uh, Moonraker, yeah, world being wiped out, kind of some long-term implications. Spy who loved me, yeah, flooding, earth, global flooding, would have had some long-term implications. Man with a golden gun, uh, no, there would have been no worldwide implications, but bottom of you dead. Live and let die, yeah, the whole United States, well, I don't know if it was the whole United States, a good portion of the United States being just covered in heroin, like, here, free heroin, would have had some problems. Dance forever, yeah, there might have been some problems with a laser that could blow things out of the sky, Majesty Secret Service, I can't plan for biochemical terror. Probably would have been bad. You are you only live twice. Um, oh, wait, okay, I was right with uh, you only live twice. Hijack spacecrafts. Um, and they were planning to start World War III, basically. Yeah, that would have been bad. Um, Thunderball would have been bad. Goldfinger, ec economy-wise, it actually would not have been as bad as you think. Uh, gold, I mean, for the gold, it would have been horrible. And I, I know gold, I know one form of currency does affect the overall currency, but I just don't know how bad. If I already guess, it would have been insanely bad. Like, terribly, super, like, economic-wise, it would have been, like, worldwide economy bad. Uh, for Russia with love, yeah, that would have been bad for the time, but nothing serious. And then Dr. No... Uh, disrupt American rockets. Yeah, that that would have been pretty bad. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So if Bond failed any uh, any of his missions, it would have been terrible, basically. 
Luckily, Bond usually comes out on top. So, yeah, thank God for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. If you have ideas for who would wins, what if videos, Star Wars, superhero, magic videos, anything in between, anything I do on the channel, please put in the comments below. Let me know. I'll do a review of it at some point. I'll be back in a little bit with my, with actually my best and worst of February 2017. I was tempted to do a review for the Kong, third Kong trailer that came out today, but it's really just some extra footage, like combat and stuff like that, some couple extra scenes, nothing like super worth talking about that I couldn't, or I haven't already done a review for. That being said, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Trailer 3 comes out tomorrow. Hopefully I'm going to see Kurt Russell in that, and it's going to be cool. I will when I get a chance to do a review for that. It'll either be before I leave for work, uh, which I, I work from, I have a short day, but i got to go in early, so, or it'll be after I get off of work. But until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.